Welcome everyone to a late night edition. Grub 2.12 is out for this mini operating system uh, reveling other cool operating systems with drivers and support and, and whatnot. Masking as a bootloader, just about being funny here of oversized bootloader stuff, everything but the kitchen sink. We're currently previously on the more live channel, free software foundation. Grub maintainers are proud to announce Grub 2.12 has been, just been released. You can find the list of new features and major fixes since this release in the news files. Like yeah, even we do more professional. I mean, announces beside yeah, the the, the website is <clears throat> lacking some info. Anyway, news file not much better. GCC 13 support. I, I wonder what they mean because it works for me. Like. 206 works for me as GCC 13, but probably some small fixes or whatnot. Clang 14, that would be interesting because for me the last time I built Grub, it didn't build with Clang. Um, also, we are already at 16 or something, right? Anyway, Binus 238, uh, not really sure what they are, probably 238 or later if you're lucky. I slightly wonder, I mean, this is really lacking, right? Because it works for me, so whatever, something. Unification of EFI, that is breaking Itanium, I64, not sure if they fixed it yet. Um, they just refactured some code, right? So that architectures like x86, Itanium, I64, ARM and RISC-V and stuff like that. Share some more EFI code, breaking Itanium. Um, need to check. Initial support for some bootloader interface. Mm. Support for dynamic. Get a grub runtime memory edition using firmware calls and whatever PCI MMIOU at support. Nice STL2 support. This is extremely unclear. I even Googled that. Um, I believe that's probably because what is libsdl in your bootloader, except mini operating system with soon games and whatnot. But I believe in five minutes I could only vaguely find that. I was like, news files, amazing stuff, right? I believe that's only grub emulation for probably debugging that. Grub mini OS in user space if you're developing it, maybe leave me in the comments below because they surely don't link SDL into the bootloader, right? Long arch support, nice TPM drive fixes, whatever. Many CVEs, cover T, debugging support improvements, test improvements, documentation improvements, basically as usual, and then tons of other fixes and cleanups. It's like thanks for mentioning them. You had three years or so, and that's all the news we got. Anyway, the point of the video is it is out, it's probably amazing. Um, let's let's go do that. And I have the suspicion, also recurring theme, I mean, beside this release stuff, also news 2014 and then stuff is too broken that they skip five and release to six and then stuff is broken for three years and they never want to release it and then release to 12. Ah. Software development, release, difficult. Um, because I really would appreciate release early release often at minimum for such major mini operating systems once a year because the problem is now it might break everything in the kitchen sink, right? Between 486 and Itanium. So also it might be extreme um, annoying for us. And let me just check something because I are going to some backup because I don't want to run ruin my um, currently let's see because I are, I moved here my build out of the way my build sandbox and because we're in the middle of releasing a Linux distribution. Okay, that's the, because I are that back. Um, and I have the suspicion and not only does it break Itanium, thanks for that, we might need to hunt and track another day, but we also have major full disk encryption patches, earlier video, two years ago, because if you, that's, that is also so silly, right, which is Next, coming up next year, should I subscribe microkernel, mighty server operating system without a bootloader, like, and theoretically without, like, firm, optionally firmwareless, previous video four years ago, my dream, um, like one software layer, one hardware abstraction, nano microkernel to rule them all without, like, because we have firmware initialization and drivers and file systems and stuff in the firmware like BIOS, then this mini op growingly, cancerously growingly mini operating system, this is Grub2, which is why so many people move to EFI stuff and whatnot, booting without 
grub because ne, different bugs and features. Many people say thank you very much. And um, then Linux kernel and then even user space, so like four layers of even think FAT implemented th four times, right? F FAT file system, FAT or other file system file allocation table, right? For FAT32. Firmware, bootloader, kernel, user space, four implementation plus multiple copies and user space. That is for another video. Um, and that's also, I say this because encryption, right? So some years ago, like two or so, previously here on this channel, I discovered I wanted to release our Linux distribution and the test install didn't work with full disk encryption because crypt setup and the loose kernel created a two new Lux container and crypto algorithm that Grub didn't support, right? So I had to go hunting. Other people had already patches for that. The question is now, um, did they merge those patches? That I mean, I don't care about bloody SDL support. Like, like who leads? I mean, for what? In the news, breaking news, all the other websites, Grub2 now has SDL support. Like, like due for what? For debugging? It's like, uh. Anyway, let's see what breaks and how much Mm, heartache and headache that will do us uh, to 12 because for sure and that is the thing right if you don't release shit for three years then every Linux distribution of the 242 out there and us needs to patch all the shit in there right so release early release often once a year because now it's like probably three years or whatever later and who knows what is broken right like Instead of testing this gradually, the only constant is change and regressions. Um, I somewhere had, uh, for, okay, let's copy that here. Uh, because now it's of course like so many changes, they can't even list them, right? Uh, and tons of other fixes and cleanups that certainly break a thing or two. Because the last release, not that we 2021, no, it's only two and a half years, uh, amazing. But yeah, like every six, like seriously for bootloader and especially with security stuff in between, right? We fix some security stuff, like two and a half years, two and a half years later, you, you get some fixes. Like, thank you very much. I'm not surprised. Um, but hey, it's free and probably shouldn't complain. So, did I download that grub too? Let's see what, uh, this is just to give you some summary, right? I could just sit here like I did for 20 years. Uh, it's like, yeah, of course, this doesn't apply. This is exactly what I expected, this stuff not applying anymore which is also partially their fault of not releasing shit for two and a half years, but now we need to figure out. The problem is if they didn't merge the crypto stuff for Luke's 2 and other Blake or whatever, hash functions and crypto algorithms and stuff, like potentially rediffing that might be like a day job if we are extremely unlucky. Which also, hey, release early, release often. No harm, done. Like, and if there is some bug, then we notice it two years ago and not today. And you could have fixed it two years ago already if there are other major, like Itanium regression, right? For all the reliable. So what do we patch here? We patch configure of Apple. Wait, uh, the truly Apple set applying Dijo. Okay, Dijo root. Okay, this is just really fails for that. And um, that is probably, I don't even rem I mean, the, this is so stupid. I think yeah, this was just some stupid locations. Um, Okay, so it's just like, yeah, I mean, that's also the problem, right? STL support fonts and then it doesn't find a bloody true type font on your system because they hard coded it like, like you don't do. Um, welcome there. Happy you just joined. Um, just joined. Cool stuff. New and grab. Yeah, we, we will see. Um, Damian. Um, happy to hear that you just joined. So, um, let's de delete this for a second. So what I usually do is like, if it's not like mission critical, I first delete it and rediff it later. So what is that? I mean, I expect like nearly every patch. All right, this is all right. Did they mention um, support for newer GCC? So much to, hey, it works for us because we patched it. So that is also they probably are unified. So that is our magic number file in here. If he doesn't care about the middle anymore. Mm. Okay. They refactured it anyway. Let's hope we don't need it anymore. I mean, it's there. 
Quad fix risk five. Um, so yeah, okay, to be fair, that's, that might actually be what they mean with GCC support, because the thing is, latest GCCs generated relocations that were not supported. It's also the problem, like you implement a mini operating system and disguise it as a bootloader, and then you have, then you have uh, shared op uh, kind of shared object like module support things, and you implement relocations yourself, and then each time the um, compiler, I mean those things I, I would hope they are implemented. So each time the compiler and linker and assembler generate some new relocation type and stuff, then you go patch the stuff. Where is even succeeded? Succeeded. Uh, where is even fail? Oh, there is something failed. Ah, here, here's Luke's algorithms. Did I say we patch in Luke's Argon 2 version 4 patch? And so that is the thing, right? Did they really not implement? I mean, okay, to be fair, there was a licensing discussion, also 2022 or so. Hey, here is some new crypto shit for full encryption with Linux, like the primary and nearly only operating system we kind of sort of support with Grub, with our pseudo OS bootloader thing. And, and then it's like, yeah, with the license, what is the license here and example code from, it's like, 2022, they couldn't merge it instantly. I mean, I mean, they should really, I mean, e even if the license of some hash function was unclear, someone should have re-implemented it or so. I mean, ah, it's security nightmare, like 1984, right? Like, like who would not, even I run everything with full disk encryption, like illustration purposes only. Ah, do you, is this really implemented so? This is Argon 2, the way to check that now. So it mostly applies except some small core DL thing, which the question then is, let's unpack it. I mean, that, that would be actually shocking, right? If, if two and a half years later, the flagship bootloader OS from the Free Software Foundation from, from GNU doesn't support latest and greatest fullest encryption. Like, literally, if you just type crypt setup Luke's format, your device, you get some Luke's container and hash algorithm that doesn't work with grub. It's, that's of course silly, if, if that is so. Let's double check. Um, download mirror g grub 12 with or double tar and find I do that in the fresh copy because in the other we patched it in. So let's like like seriously. They have not. I mean, I I didn't expect much, but ah, I can't get so drunk. How how silly that is. And that's why we can't have nice things, right? Twenty twenty also. I didn't have temp I can't even have my nice sourcings. I mean, that's why we kind of see the year of the Linux desktop, right? When, when two and a half years later, our primary bootloader does not have the matching full disk encryption algorithm that your flagship Linux desktop is using. I mean, that's the bare minimum. I'm not, not, I'm not even talking about nice icons and working graphic drivers. It's like even, ah, your bootloader can't read your encrypted file system. It's like, Wow, but I'm not shocked, right? 25 years here, been there, done that, now live on this channel. So yeah, some people tuning in, that is amazing. Yeah, Night Light, Light Edition. Um, year end seasonal greetings, Late Night Edition. Here from our open source headquarters, what have I done now? Did I, wait, did I edit this? Ah, I forgot, I've changed this, but not this. Ah. Nothing like three times the charm. We have some comments. Um, also, probably I should try to do this brief. Um, Tmux on this console on this. I'm saying uh, Tmux windowing. Limited work area, working display. No need to connect external. Just installed Linux on laptop, something I probably should focus on work. So yeah, that's just, I mean, thankfully all the algorithm stuff, it looked like only one loader, whatever setup thing didn't apply. Let's see what that is all about. 
So that is now thanks to the GNU people doing not even the bare... Hey, they added... But hey, they added SDL support, but not latest full description versions. Now all the 2042 Linux versions, except of those, those who base on superior quality and performance um, T2 Linux, all of them need to go through and redive the shit just because they in two and a half years couldn't let add those algorithms that were literally sent to the mailing list over a year ago or whenever. Okay, that is thankfully only one file. Let's see what didn't apply there. This was rejected in string compare. Oh, this is some algorithm thing. Thank you very much. Um, so they really patched here some CC. So that is just even marking as new license. Um, CC, did say CC0? No, it isn't. GPL license. Hmm. Ah, I, I, I anyway need to use fix file diff. Uh, fix file. Um, By the way, today I used VI. I'm, I'm somehow in a love and love and hate relationship with this Vim on this installation. But today I actually used not VI as root, but my my other user. I, I realized VI is okay there. So, but I don't even have it's something really strange. I don't even have a root user configuration. I, I don't. I don't understand what's up with this stupid um, uh, VI here, which forces me to use some. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, if your native mouse support shit is also okay, did it say? Let's see, did it say? No, they still have this. Oops. So, like, yeah, when your native mouse support shit gets into your. Why is this not. Wait, this is silo, this should. Why does this not freaking. Paste. Uh, I hate when native mouse support gets in my way. It's like, why do people freaking do that? It totally interferes with my. Wait a second. Other, oh, this is this line just changed. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe we, oh, we didn't even copy that because it's possibly bloody native. Ah, oh, this, this is why. Oh. There's a very special hell for people who implemented native fucking mouse support. Very special hell. I, t I can tell you, I'm, I'm not even sorry for those developers who who think native mouse support is a good thing. I'm really sorry for you. I'm. I'm, I'm sorry, not sorry. Where even is this freaking? What have I done here? Ugh, all I wanted was. Why is this the wrong? What am I even freaking doing here? I'm not really sure what I did here. So let's see. Let's try that one more time. Ah, you see, it was out fucking native more supported. I, you can even copy and paste stuff. So, um, how even was it previously? But I guess like so. It's like, yeah, a monstrous algorithm patch doesn't apply because, I mean, did they re indent this? Why does this even freaking not apply anymore? Anyway. Save. Mm. Ah, maybe they, maybe they moved this. Uh, I'm not. I mean, uh, whatever. But I mean, maybe they just moved this. Um, or operator to the front. That is also, ladies and gentlemen, because I constantly do that every day. I'm not a fan of re-indenting and rewrite spacing and all the other like that don't freaking touch bloody code if you don't make any functional changes. Um, uh, run version 4 GPL. Yeah, here is where import. It's like we are about to import the reference implementation of Argon 2, which is licensed under CC0. Given that this license is, in, is compatible with the GPL according to one, having code under this license alongside the GPL code is perfectly fine. 
over, when was it even? Freaking 21 August. That is, this coat is fucking two effing years old. And it's not in effing grub. How should I even boot an operating system without full encryption support? It's like, ah, ah, ah. I mean, if, if all this stuff wouldn't be so fancy and expensive, I would slam everything in my bloody face already. <sighs> At least to make a good YouTube video. Um, if, if not, uh, are this fourth tier freaking two times in here? Okay, we will see. I'm not even, what did they even change here? Okay, we will see in a second what changed here. Rereading that file, 470. Let's uh, add, edit this to preserve this git uh, thing here. 70. So that is a new, that was a new, um, they're just effing. Okay, they removed the S check there, that, that S is, they somehow, yeah, they, they removed the S check and re it. But they didn't do that for, like they did this, like, like they, they touched the grub core thing, but not the grub module verifier, which still applies apparently. No, no, I, oops. One, two, three, it's, but whatever. Yeah, amazing. Let's hope I didn't mess it up. That's between all the copy and paste and... What is that now? Is it the same or... Looks to memory region. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. That is... Ah, oh, shit. So the looks too needs so much... This algorithm needs so much memory. Fuck. Oh, shit. They changed the, the person who submitted that. Oh, fuck, and it fails all over the effing place. Oh, shit. Oh, good goodness gracious. God give me patience and more subscribers and more Patreons. So, in Grub Memoline, there is a commented section which would allow for unloading unneeded modules in case when there's not enough free memory available to satisfy a request given that this code is never compiled and let's remove it altogether. Um, the thing here was, is it is it all of it mm drop unused? Did I merge them all right? Do we have multiplayer patch 6 from 6, 5 from 6, 4 from 6? So what's going on here is that this algorithm is, this hashing algorithm is intentionally memory intensive and so they need a whole lot of effing memory. So they reworked uh, all the, that's of course not like, oh. Shit. It might actually be easier yeah, I'm not rediffing this like in one hour. It's like, this is like, yeah, thank you very much. But hey, it now has SDL support. Yay. For whatever. Um, so most likely the, the hash algorithm there will not apply. Um, what even was the freaking other? So this was not the whole, no, this was the hashing algorithm. Um, unless they implemented this in some other file because this doesn't apply anymore. I mean, it is possible that they actually applied it, so maybe it's not even necessary to other uh, siphons. This is not even that, this is my... Uh, so what I do here, that is, this is also silly. Like, basically everything you touch is silly. And it, it this is why we can't have nice things, right? Not the UFC Linux desktop, but other whatever. Because, like, you will not believe that by default Grub does not pass standard UUID specifiers like 123 dash ABC whatever dash something. I had to patch in like the, the support to parse the bloody UUIDs with hash separate, like skip them, like, like ah, seriously. Um, I obviously did, I mean, sure, you can work around this in user space or like as a human user, I mean, like. Otherwise, we would in user space in our installer need to remove the bloody dashes, the hyphens, in UUIDs. It's like rocket science, writing a 
bootloader mini or is apparently rocket science. Um, I delete this for the second that I SVNRM. I just want to see how much other like it basically makes no sense to read this shit for one hour when in the end nothing really works anywhere. Kids, that's probably to build now. I probably should, you know, it cancel that dash V. Um, yeah. Welcome to my life. Welcome to our channel. Yes, now it starts to build. Let's see how much other stuff we still need to do. Let's hope they applied the memory memory allocation uh, changes because rediffing this might be a whole afternoon worth of work, which ISA increasingly AAA distribution vendor eventually would need to do. Um, but okay, this also fails. Cool. No rules to make target grub core extra depthless needed by Zim info. Tell me you are just not parallel yourself building anymore or what? It's like one fail after another. How can stuff fail so much? But it has SDL support now. <sighs> Let's try no parallel. Or we try Run menu, grub term. Okay, that might be from me because I believe, I mean, yeah, they, they believe it's amazing and this is just the amount, or is it not? What even was it? Con, oops, also wrong. Con, Ah, it's a reverse jerk written on my German keywords. Term, ah, term, CTRL, CTRL, C. Hotfix control L pitch. Um, if we even had to hotfix that, uh, imported that from Benjamin Herrenschmidt of PowerPC fame. Um, because as Ben H writes here, this is useful. Like Ben H and I need to patch here um, control L to work um, for the initial display to refresh. Let's first get the two complies and we uh, we would need to review now what we would need to do for every patch is review what is really applied and what not. Um, was it maybe applied? Does it not apply because, I mean, wait, is it applied? So then it probably was not applied. Like, hey, one IBM developer of PowerPC fame has a great patch and two and a half years, two and a half years later, it might still not be applied. Ah, details. All right, you know what? We even built this shit twice on x86. Oh, we need to also yeah, 2023. You need to boot your you need to build your bloody bootloader twice um, for i386 dash PC master boot record thing. This is now building significantly slower. It's not epic word ripping anymore because we now built it with dash j1 just to see if it generates this um, whatever make depend list whatever mini operating system module loading support glue. So far, so good. It's like, don't tell me I even need to fix parallel building again, which obviously, I mean, if, if this doesn't build with J32, I mean, then I don't know what, then we reached a new lowest bar of lack of quality dedication. And anyway, absolutely, it's, it's like here. And, and this is why I need to write my own bootloader or mini operating system, microkernel, multi-server. Um, no, this still does not, okay, okay, but maybe it is related, okay, it's still the Zim info list. I mean, given that this is in libgcrypt cipher, or is it, or maybe this is not, no, maybe this is, 
Wisdom and Frost. Are you kidding me? Um. I'm a little bit shocked. Let's remove all our patches and see if it builds. Let's not auto-gen, because who you knows, sometimes it's auto-regen also breaks. We need to do this for the Apple set OS patch. Yeah, I knew it will be a shit show, but I mean, this even tops my expectations. But that's also just what I summarized. You don't want basically four layers of garbage code. Like, first you have a complete low-quality layer of vendors' crappy BIOS code. Um, cannot find L and what is freaking even going on here? Set of S info, what? Um, do I have open sets? I should not build. Do I have this installed? I had it installed, but I mean, it should not. I was like, thank you much. Now it's failing with this. It's like, oh. um, it should, of course, not use. Like, I'm cross compiling this, and literally, I tell it, here's is this route. Here's the cross commission. It's like, hey, on your system, there's somewhere some open set of laying around. It's like, oh, it's cool. It still fails. Um, it still wants to build the set of this. For God's sake, why is it effing heck? Why does it try to build it and why does it fail then? Like, even if it's all the patches deleted, it fucking fails. Default guest, okay, then get the fuck out of here as you fucking set of us. Nobody needs this shit anyway. This is the wrong editor. Was it like that? Uh, oops. Sync. Uh. Somewhere touched the wrong. Um, I can't believe it's that broken. Oh. Okay, maybe I... Why did this not error out? The problem with this, this is where both stuff I... It scrolls fast so far. this ever just please and no please no things 
still fails. What the f is it even fucking trying to effing do here? The previous version build. Standard bool, no such. I mean, I'm not even patching it anymore. Trick tables? What are you trying to do? This is the latest GCC even. What is wrong with you? You had one job and writing a mini operating system was not one of it. Let's try to build it natively just to see if that changes a thing. Like, wow, I expected breakage, but I didn't expect that everything is broken. I mean, I, I knew this huge patches that we need to carry because nobody else does a effing work to get it upstream or the grub maintainers fight with each other who loves the GPL more and who worship, worships Bridget Storman more. I don't know what they do there the whole day. They really don't want that we build it, do they? But this still fails. Like, I'm not even patching it anymore, no, nor do I auto regen it anymore. And it fails with no rules to make target. Like, why? What, what, what? You had one job. What are you doing? I mean, okay, it could be. Let's change my. I mean, it's like Debian. We, we run. Not that bin sh is not generating some bloody file somewhere. Can also always be then. I mean, first we need to find out. I mean, it cannot be that broken, right? I mean, surely they would. I mean, of course, always some developer built for me. It's like yeah, I think I much built built for someone in the Free Software Foundation basement. Does it fail differently now with bin bash? No, it's still no fucking rule to make bloody target drop core extra depths needed by Zim info list. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Google, thank you very much. Your AI sucks a bit. I ask for no rules to make bloody target group core. It's like if I need to Google here every piece of stuff myself, then I don't need to bloody. Like, no, I don't need help for this bloody generic thing. I need to f Also, maybe I over edited. What the F? Is this some last minute change? Looks good to me. Introducing extra broke out of three builds by introducing the extra depth list file into the source tree but referencing it just by name grub core make file am. Twenty twenty three Mac falls difficult. Um, do I need to say more? Two and a half years. Is that also another nail in the coffin? Release early, release often. So somehow I didn't go out of the ISO menu. Do we even see the ISO menu? No, it's not at camera. Why do I need an ISO menu? Um, I rest my case. Release early, release often, I, I, I can only say. The question is, is, is this fix something that would fix my stuff and is it in the source tree? So that is 
scrub core here. And because do we build object deer? I think we don't even we, we build we don't even build out of tree. Then info top source minus minus so the patch extra depth list. No, that is applied. Maybe this last minute thing broke it for entry builds. Top source deer. Top source deer. I have absolutely no words anymore. Besides, what is even bloody going on with this here? They probably built with freestanding or whatnot or not. And then they wonder that standard pool age is not found. So we have some standard pool stuff, which is even standard pool age. Which effing standard pools they even want? Is this mostly AC plus plus header or what? User lib GCC or is it? Oh no, is it that one here? They built with F freestanding. Should grub even find that there then? It's like, why is that so broken? Like, why is everything we freaking touch, like everything the compiler touches is freaking broken? And it built previously. Yeah, still not bull, thank you very much, but if that would be found. I, I've, I've rarely seen something as broken. I knew it will not be... Uh... Now it rebuilds everything because we touched the header. Wow, is it broken. Um, I mean, I've, I've seen bad things I rarely have seen, but... I don't... Exp I mean, let's build a J32. Um, where is a freestanding? Here. What? Okay, this is built somewhere relative to crop core. I mean, in general, it is of course freestanding, meaning not using system stuff, but just like not using system stuff and then wanting standard pool header. Okay, this still doesn't find that. I mean, there could be more s standard freestanding, maybe it's twice in there. Um, 
It's even no freaking standard include here, right? I mean, we want no standard include, we want freestanding, but hey, give us his, a standard pool header. Um, no such. What? Warning, no such. What? Warning? Include, no such. Ah, oh, wait, it wants, wait. Ah, no, wait, it. It even builds this. Wait a second, they add this manually? Wait a second. Do they add this? Look at that. They added this somewhere here. This path is not correct. At least, okay, wait, for my... What do we build now, native? Okay, they add that, but... Standard rule header... Um... Standard... Okay, actually, it would be there. Um, wait, say add this? Oh, no, I'm confused. Okay, they add this there, and then it's anyway not found? No, I'm... Maybe this interacts somehow. I don't need to de be debug the debugger. The question is... So they somehow constructed here probably some stuff that's not handled like that by all compilers. Oh wait, why does it also say it doesn't exist? Wait a second, that is curious. Ah, wait, no, what, what, what do we even... Ah, do they... Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm maximum confused now. What did we even build? Did we build cross or... No, we didn't build cross. Why does it want... What does it... Ah, maybe they use... Somehow maybe this interacts with our root variable because... Maybe they use root or something that somehow adds this to the... I never had that with any package though. Um, what do they do? Uh, because... That should be my system compiler, right? Oh no, it isn't. Wait, what? Cross wrapper? What? Ah, oh, wait. Are we debugging? Or oh, maybe I debug the. Uh, what did I even. Grub x86. It's getting too confusing for me, 20 bit. Do that once more just to be. But anyway, it didn't build in either combination, just we need to be clear which part nodes that we debug in the wrong directory of all the accumulated build failures. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, and then people wonder when open source developers get burned out and depressive when people. It's like. But that also happens if you're not releasing, right? Release early, release often. Like if, if you would gradually build some stuff, then all this would have for years already be fixed, but if you collect a monstrous mega version, um, some mega rewrite version, where at the end everything is broken, and instead of adding the latest crypto hashes, you add SDL support for some fancy graphical debugging, that is what uh, you get. How did it fail, by the way? Let's just check the log. It's... 
it's indeed wanting this extra. So they, they probably broke that at least last minute too. Okay, maybe I was, was I in the wrong directory and... Maybe it wasn't the wrong directory because no. Okay, the okay cross it doesn't find the C standard header for stupid reasons, um, which is of course funny that they explicitly work around their tricky stuff. But this also um, means there is also no zoom info list. Maybe the Mac file rules do not apply um, with their prefix. Maybe they only partially patched that and maybe they they don't have a rule. Maybe they didn't prefix the the rule for that. No rules to make target needed by zim info. Because here is zim info LST. Um, what did what did say what did it even say no rule to make target extra depthless okay that is that here extra depth list yeah there's also no immediate target extra. Wait, it is, it is only in this... No, go away, I hate all this modern shit, just give me a regular old-fashioned mouse. Extra tabs. Cat kernzims. Extra tabs. Yeah, where is it coming from? Make path to extra depthless relative out of three books introduced. To solve this, introduce a new file currently empty. What? To solve this, introduce a new file currently empty called. What the fuck is even such drugs? I need to. S extra depthless. Extra depths. Make path and introduce. Um, make path relative to commit, build, allow explicit model dependencies, bro out of tree builds by introducing the extra rep list, file, enter the source tree, but referencing it just by name, fixed by adding to the path. To services introduced 2023-12. Oh, cool, they, build, they broke it just in December. Two and a half years freaking working on random shit and then in this let's finally raise it but break it last minute. Although explicit module dependencies, the build system did uses enter module dependencies from the symbols required and export them. This works well except for some rare cases where the dependencies is indirect or hidden. A module might not make use of any functions of some other module but still expect its functionality to be available. To solve this, introduce a new file currently empty called extra depthless to track these cases manually. This file gets processed in the same way, making it possible to inject data into the dependencies resolver. Since LST files are set to ignored by git at an ex 
exception for extra depth. Additional introduce a new keyword for sym info the T syntax depends on explicit depends. I don't know what I should. I mean, you know what? We probably could work around that by creating an empty file. As long as I mean, maybe it is not there because nothing added dependencies. Um, what is wrong with all of you? Was your mini OS operating system bootloader thing not broken enough yet? Uh, okay, um, I, I need to get drunk. Okay, they want an empty file, they get an empty file. Thankfully we have hooks because we work around strains free software foundation low quality GNU issues since 1998 or so. <sighs> Hook at pre make five. Ah shit, I, I copy and pasted it wrong. God, give me a fucking working editor without native mouse support. It can't be that difficult, really. Soon I use xemacs here for editing my command language stuff. I don't know what is wrong with this VI. As a normal user, it worked without this issue. I don't know what's up with this nonsense. Um... Oh, this is also ah I look into the wrong file. Build it natively. Where is even the bloody here is a bloody error. Um, okay, let's see if that builds. I mean, maybe if... I mean, it looks like... Yeah, probably it is using... Like it said the include file didn't exist. It probably takes the path from the wrong compiler because my um, sandbox whole system build world compiler is 13.2.1 snapshot and I believe it was 13.2.0. So maybe they derive this path in the makefile from the wrong compiler because who in the heck of the world does cross compile stuff? Um, obviously, obviously not normal people. Like who else would support 35 freaking architecture combinations? Um, so probably they, they have generating that from um, also this oh, dev TTY. Okay, it fully built except some dev TTY. I, I believe it fully. Okay, let's see if. If the rest builds in, grab two. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is just like, it's one effing hour, right? Um, for just some grub update. Move the patches back in here. Try that again. If it builds with those patches, then we need to, I mean, obviously one hour is not enough, right? If we are lucky, I only need another hour. 
And if we are unlucky, we need to pull afternoon redefin other patches. Um, what we at a minimum need to do, we need to verify. Also, this doesn't load. Thank you much. At a minimum, we need to verify why does this. Um, ah, I, I commented also rebuilding here somewhere. Uh, the auto region stuff uh, here. Let's see if that is enough because we. Um, the Apple set OS we need. Um, basically, as a workaround, if you, um, I mean, normally, p normal people, of course, don't do that. That is a um, nice, hacky mod module someone else has written. That is basically telling the EFI, uh, doing our EFI runtime call, um, authenticating to the Apple EFI BIOS that we are macOS. Like, calling into the BIOS, hey, Apple, your work protected by the sword. We are really like macOS. To not disable the Intel integrated graphic on dual hybrid Intel NVIDIA Retina MacBook Pros, um, which I had one myself, which obviously becomes obsolete now. But it's like, yeah, if you are not authorized by Apple, you're not getting the Intel integrated graphics, so you only have NVIDIA, and thus your freaking Retina MacBook runs even freaking hotter than it already does normally. Um, but yeah. Okay, it didn't build. Um, cool. What failed now? Um, so much Apple set OS. Oh, the Apple set OS module failed. Why? Unknown type name grub if we, you would. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, let's patch this Apple set OS module. That probably no other Linux distribution is chipping. It's like. Attention to detail and dedication. Why would someone want working hardware when you can just not use your Intel graphic? I mean, not that we would have an amazing open source NVIDIA Novo driver. <sighs> what this one, wasn't it? So, um, so that would be. Implicit declaration of if we call I should say refactored so if um, you know what I read if this another day this takes another half an hour which I don't want to first let's move that um, did we modify probably not right let's move it to Apple. the way to do that is what I would do now because I'm obviously not following daily this strange low quality mini operating system code is go to some other EFI module and look at the Git history, how much they changed, um, what they changed, that most likely is a fast pass um, collecting some $4,000 fast pass over Go or whatever the monopoly field was, start Go, whatever. Um, didn't play that for a decade. So if that builds, I mean, we still, I mean, it's absolutely hilarious, outrageously, oh, what, why does it auto-regen? I, I thought I disabled, I mean, it does auto-regen wrong, what does it even freaking, Apple, I thought I disabled this. Uh, what? What have I done wrong now? What did I even do? What did I build? I also built, I didn't want to build it like that. I mean, it should not have applied this. Um, how did I get to build so wrong? What do I even freaking do here? All oh, right, I probably auto completed that. Wrong. It still shouldn't, sh still shouldn't apply. Ah, uh, maybe I just looked. Ah, uh, darn. Maybe I just looked at the wrong log file again. But yeah, then we would also need to fix the cross compilation issue, including actually checking that it. No, what does it? I 
thought I had commented that out. What even? Oh, come on. But it, it wants to explode. Why does it even want to freaking run auto make? What have we done to it? Ah, maybe because, ah, okay, maybe it wants to run. Uh, okay, maybe we still need this. Um, I thought I did this for, an, ah, here's even the comment looks to it. It needs to do that for looks to argon too. Okay. Ah, again, uh, pro tip, don't auto complete too fast. Okay, we still need to, I, I, I thought micro optimization as like, yeah, I wasted another five minutes with my own micro optimization. Basically, I thought we are not patching Apple set OS anymore. Then let's don't auto regen because it's an error prone bullshit stuff time wasting. But I forgot about the crypto algorithm that I spoke so much about. Let's really hope the excessive changes on the other core memory allocation files means they merge this other memory allocation rework stuff. Because like, boy, I'm not feeling like boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not feeling like, like rediffing all this memory allocation stuff. Also like crypto algorithms, make it memory. It's like the reason they made, by the way, another pro tip that you learn something playing along at home. The reason that the crypto folks made this um, memory uh, exhausting, this algorithm, this is like proof of memory, right? So that is that you cannot as easily scalable run it a gazillion thousands of times parallel on GPUs, right? Because if it would not be memory bound, then you uh, could also i really wonder where this ftti stuff i've seen this a couple of times now it's really strange anyway so yeah they intentionally made this memory intensive so that you can scale it less on gpus for less um rainbow table or otherwise just brute for you know, whatever stuff okay so that build um so everything builds except we need to read if apple set os we need to check the other memory allocation stuff which I mean, we could check later, you know what, so we also need probably next cross compiling. It's absolutely hilarious, right? Like basically the, the, the Linux kernel builds better after two and a half years than this piece of low quality GNU free software foundation stuff. It is hilarious that this is, I mean, in general, I really, as I said, I really don't even like this boot procedure, right? In the meantime, humongous oversized BIOS vendor codes, boots for way too long, posts for way too long, then a way too large oversized grub bootloader that has every file system and crypto algorithm re-implemented um, boots for way too long. And then um, the Linux kernel again implements all the file system and, and crypto stuff plus the users. This is absolutely silly. So I expect this to fail that most likely um, uses the wrong version GCC pass for the... It's like, like how can so much like... Yeah, but that's, that's the thing, right? If you... Oh no, it, it's actually built. Why did it previously use the other wrong pass? Okay, fine. Whatever. For some magic reason, apparently it built. Um, whatever was in this system, whatever. Bizarre. Anyway. Um, then let's see if we can generate an ISO. I mean, we're still not done, right? We still need to diff, rediff. We need to check whether the memory allocation stuff was merged, and if not, rediff it and rework the Apple set OS stuff, which is just a little icing top of the cake of supporting this crazy stuff. So let's regen the ISO. Okay, we also maybe remove just for the fun of it. Damian noticed that when we run some CPU intensive work on uh, long compilations, the quality of camera output gets lower quality. Um, that is not, I'm not streaming locally, right? I'm, this is a Ryzen 1750X basically server most of the time. I'm live streaming from the Steam Deck. The, the reason the video becomes lower quality is just because 
this is only when text scrolls. It has nothing to do with um, like using CPU cycles. It's just that too much text movement is exhausting all the bitrate of the video codec, and then uh, the video codec has simply no bitrate left to store details. Right. This is why uh, the quality actually this is pure video codec um, theory. Create ISO x86 x86 uh, there. Oops, also wrong. Um, Damian, Damian says so. Basically, YouTube sucks. No, that the video codecs. Video codecs are not built and optimized. They are built for. They are optimized and developed for motion picture, Hollywood, triple A movies. Basically. Basically, there is simply no more bitrate to. Um, I mean, sure, I could up, I could increase the bitrate, but our, basically, my internet sucks. I mean, I can like make. I, I increase the bitrate. Let's see how many frame drops we get. It's basically bitrate exhaustion problem. So now I doubled the bitrate. So previously, I live streamed from two and a half to four and a half mbit or so, which is a little bit lower than YouTube's. Rec also, YouTube doesn't recommend VBR for variable bitrate streaming. But I, my internet, Vodafone's filling docs, the shit is so crappy here in the capital of, of Germany, that is Berlin, that um, I usually can't stream with more, although tonight maybe it works for the moment. It might improve that. I don't know if this bitrate, I mean, maybe for full text videos, text scrolling, maybe we even need 10 Mbit or whatever. Um, so that ISO. Um, So that is scrub version 2.12 coming up. Yay, it only took one hour I'm getting drunk. But seriously, alcohol and tabak is not good for you. Kids playing right home, not recommended. So let's encrypt the shit. Encrypted partitions, erase all data on virtual disk A. Yes, please. Test, test. Basically testing if this is so decrypt. So that is Linux kernel that will work. I didn't test this. Are you sure? Yes, do it finally. What? Why is it? Ah, does it do we encrypt swap independently? What have I done here? Actually, I didn't do that for a while. I'm not even sure if that was. Okay, do we have them singularly encrypted or what? Swap root? Apparently, we did. Okay, fine. Doesn't matter the most. So we need to completely install. I mean. I could have with unit testing a image prepared, but I mean, this installs relatively fast. Epic thread ripping through that in just a minute or so. It's basically then, I mean, yeah, if I would have a test image, I wouldn't have grub installed there. So yeah. But basically, so I, it needs even more work, which is absolutely crazy. As crazy as it is that I sit here at midnight, for which you probably want to share, like, subscribe, Patreon, YouTube membership, or uh, other merchandise and Amazon affiliate links down below. Just a tiny little grub update, they said. Now with SDO support, it's probably amazing. Fingers crossed. So, does grub come? Up also Novi KXEC that works. So we skipped grub because who wants a bloody freaking mini OS bootloader when you can just KXEC into your new installation? Um, let's reboot and actually get to. Okay, that so far so good. It didn't crash, didn't instantly. Um, so that probably only works due to our patch. 
because otherwise it would. So yeah, it tries. It tr it it does the hash. This takes too long. Without the patch, it would have errored out instantly, I believe. Um, simply with passphrase pass, pass not matched or something incorrect, whatever. This takes too long for not working here. It works. Okay, so most likely, I mean, working is good enough. We basically could then skip. Um, oops. Um, we could basically skip. I mean, to be on the safe side, we could review if the memory allocation stuff was applied. Probably it was applied. I mean, maybe it just works and we're lucky. Um, the best thing would be to verify that. So other things, so we need to port the Apple set to S stuff. So move that Apple set OS stuff to not disabled. Oops. And then also uh, check this other. So basically revert to the deletion of that. Uh, also theoretically that I'll do this later. Um, what else do we have? We have these changes. It's hopefully done. Theoretically, I have here also some, okay, whatever. So that is modified memory gen allocation. Ah, oh, this is we need to. I know, but I think this might be applied or so because it found the UUID without the patch, so apparently it's fine. Okay. I mean, we could. There are, of course, two things. I mean, for real, I mean, maybe I'll later review that um, soon if I'm too bored or stuff. But basically, if it works, probably should be applied because this UUID hyphen stuff previously did not, did not work. Um, we have two more things here as uh, some cherry picking of Linux kernel updates. So five, where are we at? Five, seven, eight, uh, five, six. I'm a little bit in the future. I'm back from the future. Sorry. Also not five, but six, 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 eight um, is out. Let's the balls to check that and also Rust C, what is the version there? Uh, seven, seven, four, one, slightly off. Can't remember each version thing, top of my head. Okay, this all applied, so because we have some major patches for the Linux kernel too. No kidding, you want stuff working, you need to patch stuff. There you go for playing along at home, 668 coming to your desktop or server embedded T2 Linux somewhere near you. Um, Rust C likewise. Let's give that a quick Rust C rebuild there. And then that's probably it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this learn something, especially how frustrated open source developer can be when after decades the most travel stuff still does not just freaking work TM. I can't make this up. I mean, I knew, I knew it will be chaos. I knew I will get gray hairs. But that, that reoccurringly after 40 years of the Free Software Foundation, I'm so, but that I'm so disappointed and burned out, frustrated of, of how broken stuff can be. But it, it's simply not following best practices, right? Run like for two and a half years, or two and a half years? Was it two and a half years? Or whatever, one and a half year, two, four years developing, and then last minute in like weeks before, like why do you develop stuff for over a year or two or whatever? When then, like in the month, like weeks before the release, let's like zen, zen your free software foundation developer from Canonical or Ubuntu uh, Oracle, let's break the stuff last minute. Yay! Also release early, release often, right? Even if you like, it would not even hurt that much if you would release every quarter and not every two years. Because then every quarter people would fix their shit a little bit and not like after one and a half years, everything that they touched is broken. 
other people write books about such experiences and best practices. Here you get them for free, all your patronage life on this channel. That's basically it. Uh, we fixed some shit, we updated some other stuff via test building grub. Um, also the Linux, uh, we are also writing the release announcement, T2 23.12 um, mega release is uh, basically arsynced, uh, fully rebuilt, 35 architectures now, um, architectures and glibc compiler variations, there for you to play at home for everything from ARM to RISC V, x86, PowerPC, UltraSpark, you name it. Nobody ever got fired for choosing T2 Linux, there for your uh, t-shirt, merchandise, hoodies, for your family, significant other, cups, mugs, t-shirts, vintage t-shirts and kids teeth, you name it. Um, yeah. And the saddest thing is that, in my opinion, all the software architecture, like this is so 70s, if not maximum 80s software architecture. We should be so much further, we should be, we should be this is so back to the future in terms of firmware bootloaders re-implementing everything, working against the, each other, and at the end of the day, nothing really quite works. Um, and at Apple's, if you even need to authenticate, like, we are really macOS, don't hide the Intel IDPU from us, thank you very much. Anyway, um, looks, like, looks like Rust, I mean, this Rust C is a minor patch. I would have actually included, included it in our 2312 release if it would not have been so last minute. Basically all the ISOs, when I realized they have the .1 patch, I saw this already yesterday. Um, but then I had most ISOs already built, I didn't I didn't want to rebuild all the Rust stuff, just, just for, for this minor update. This is why I committed this now after tagging. Not the most important ISO update. Um, Cool. Um, Matic there tested the new ARM64 ISO in parallels today and it worked. That is amazing. I, I never tested parallels ARM probably booting via EFI. That is of course amazing. Thanks for this report. But it just shows 25 years in the making, 66,000 revisions and the last over four years or so live here on this channel. As seen here tonight, this is just what it takes to keep everything working. Happy to hear that, that makes me really happy that this works. Um, other comment there, geeky side notice that Petit Boot on the P3 works with X4, but only if it created directly from Petit Boot console makes new links so it doesn't detect it. Probably using new, X, uh, the reason is simply um, using new features, um, larger, whatever they call it. So there are multiple feature bits, so the Petit, the old Petit, the decade, over a decade old Petit Boot, um, Linux kernel simply sees this X4 but sees this and that old Linux kernel unsupported and previously reserved feature bits. So the Linux kernel will simply not touch it because nah, there are feature bits and it's probably not safe to read. Um, but yeah, it is however possible. I would not rely on that, right? I'm not sure if, it, so if you, if, if you are unlucky and you mount your X4 then in a new Linux version, um, it might set feature bits, like if it's on the fly converting that of, hey, let's use some new hashes or whatnot, um, or larger, whatever, extended, extend, whatever stuff. That I'm not that much into X. X4 is too low quality for me to use. Um, that's why, uh, anyway. So yeah, it, I believe the Linux kernel can probably at runtime, like at, at mount time, add additional feature bits to the X4 header. So, yeah, I would not really run it in production. Um, I, but I, I, I actually use better FS. The way I do it is I simply use X3 for just the bootloader partition slash boot. So then I, I only have the kernel ERD there and the grub conf, petit boot config, kboot config. And I can still use full disk. I, I have full disk encryption and better FS on my P3, right? Because we, petit boot only needs to load the Linux kernel and, and ERD and then off it goes to higher quality, superior performance. 
and um, unbroken T2 Linux and uh, we can use everything. Um, Pau Pupu asks what do you need to learn to understand what you're talking about computer science and C. Yeah, the kernel comment there. I, uh, they understand C, but they have no idea how kernel devs work. Like, do you? Even the kernel devs and bootloader developers do not do not understand how they work, as seen on the recurrent breakage. What is I mean, oh, did we build already or what? Um, we probably built already. Rust. See, oh, I'm waiting here for nothing. There goes that change. That's it for the video. I need to go home, get some sleep, um, and get more drunk. Because. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed to learn something. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Maybe leave some token of appreciation on Patreon or YouTube membership. Super thanks and all the other good stuff. And hope to see you next time for all the other next fun stuff and updates.